side on the aisle. Uh, Step Michael Grange from uh, Sportsnet over here to your right. Um, you're up 1-0. You're obviously were up 2-0 this time last year. I, I presume it'll be fairly easy to take it, kind of one game at a time, based on uh, your experience a year ago. No, oh, for sure, <clears throat> for sure. That's I mean, we talked about going into the series. Uh, you know, a lot of us have been through both sides of uh, you know a championship run and a finals, kind of back and forth, and. Um, you're not going to see crazy celebrations. You're not going to see um, us getting ahead of ourselves. We obviously, like like Kay said, we're going to enjoy what we do on the floor and going to be passionate about it and um, have each other's backs when we're out there. But every 48 minutes is a separate event, a separate mentality. And, and, and the goal, obviously, is to uh, lock in um, on the moment. So that's it should be very easy for us to do that. Uh, all things considered. Eric, back left. Uh, Kevin, Eric Pincus, Basketball Insiders, Bleacher Report. It's been some time since you've been back to this stage. Uh, did you allow yourself to kind of take in the moment, the gravity? You're finally back here after all this time. Uh, what other option did I have? Uh, this is, an, this is you know, what every player wants to be is the highest level of basketball. This is what you dream about as a kid is to play at the highest level so you know I would have I would have I wouldn't did my teammates <clears throat> any good if I wasn't you know just enjoying a moment no matter what so I just try to stay locked in on that you know at the same time have some fun uh, but know that uh you know it's hard to do what we want to do and it's hard to you know stay locked in for 48 minutes so I'm just trying to do my best to be there for my teammates and you know to play up to my standards as a as an individual as well. So um, just trying like you know, I'm probably gonna say this a lot over the next couple of days, but just trying to stay locked in, man. That's all it's about. Thank you. Tim on this side. Steph, couple of questions. Uh, only four right here in the middle. <clears throat> four turnovers in this game. It, knowing what happened at the end of la uh, the finals last year, is that easy to do? Just to, to just not to turn the ball over, or does it really take some discipline and focus to drop that total? It takes discipline to focus. Uh, that's a question for all the other guys, but me and Draymond, because <laughs> we we were the, we were the culprits there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everybody else was flawless. Um, and the the situations where we come down, whether it's transition, half court, whatever, it's just a simple play. And when we did turn it over tonight, is when you just try to do too much, um, you rush or whatever. So. Our, you know, it's obviously our best, you know, effort in that category throughout the playoffs. You know, I'm just keeping it simple, man. Just making the pass that's in front of you. We have playmakers all over the floor. Just let the kind of gravity take take you know hold on on the floor. See who's going to draw attention to uh, on the ball and and find the open guy and and knock down open shots. So um, that's the formula for us and. It's going to get harder and harder as we go when the when the stakes are you know when they rise as the series goes on. But you have to stay focused on that. And obviously, like Kevin said, it's a team game. But when you know it's going to be Kevin and LeBron pretty much going head to head, and they do play each other the whole game, offensively, defensively. What are you thinking when you're watching that matchup? I know K is ready for that challenge when he's on the ball guarding LeBron, and and he's when he has the ball on the other end, he's looking to do what he does, you know, his whole career. Um, all, all this year in the playoffs, just you know, being himself. Um, so I said to the team going into the game, we just got to be ourselves. Don't worry about any other storyline, any anything that doesn't matter to to the game. And we were really, really good in that department tonight. Of just being ourselves, playing Warriors basketball, um, knowing that there's a lot of talent on the floor, and that's our that's our best effort to win this championship. Just be ourselves. Greg, last question in the uh, center. Greg Logan of Newsday for Kevin. Uh, Tyron Liu came in here and said he felt their defensive game plan was kind of backwards at the start of the game, that they were concerned about getting out to the shooters and left you with the ball in, in your hands, you know, isolated. Uh, did you sense that? And is that what triggered all those decisions to drive to the basket? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, we move the ball and we just try to move our bodies and if I see a lane, just try to attack, you know, coaching my teammates always want me to attack and, and try to open it up for everybody else and try to score as well. So 
Um, I felt like in transition, they were running out to the three-point line. I mean, we got the best three-point shooters in, uh, in the world on our team. So, you know, obviously, you know, teams want to take away our three-pointer. But, you know, just try to be aggressive to the rim and loosen them up a bit. And Steph was able to hit a couple in transition. And But like I said, it all starts from getting stops. You know, we get stops. We worry about defense first and offensively. You know, we can uh, we can move the ball around, drive and kick, and, and try to find shots as well. So I'm more focused on defense. Thanks, guys. LeBron should be up next. Oh, yeah. I don't want to lose that one.